Hello everyone, it's been a little while since I did a video, if you're looking behind me and those of you that have seen my earlier videos, you always can sit there looking at, oh well, this is a different scenery. Yeah it is, um, recently moved and might do a video talking about that, but I was living in a house, now I'm in an apartment. So what does that do for smoking, grilling and all that? Well, I'm going to keep at it, but obviously it's going to be a little different. So we're going to do more with the gas grill. We're actually going to do this. So this is my video on this guy, even if I didn't move. Um, it's been really cold where I'm at, below zero, like your actual air temp, negative 10 to negative 20. So those of you following me, I'm going to still do some other stuff. So don't, don't worry. Still going to do some camping, so we'll still do some cast iron. Uh, Dutch oven all that other stuff. So we'll have other videos. We're gonna do some more inside stuff I'm gonna do some instapod stuff and of course this guy. So this is what I want to talk about today This is a ninja foodie grill as you can tell this one Model what is the model of this one? Not even a hundred percent sure But this is a I believe the smaller version um, The one that claims it can cook uh, four steaks at a time uh, it's a 1760 watt foodie grill. I kind of wanted one of these because I thought this is a cool system. We'll see how it really works. I obviously know it's not going to replace smoking or a gas grill, but it claims it can do a lot of things. Um, claims it can air fry, it can roast, it can bake, it can dehydrate. It can dehydrate and do all those. I think that's a cool thing. They're a little spendy in my book, but found one on sale and a deal through. Uh, one of the local big box stores. So I figured, hey, it's really cold. I'm sorry about that. Um, hanging out in an apartment right now. So for probably at least six months, maybe a year. So let's let's do a little unboxing on the Ninja Foodie. And we're also gonna do some more probably Instapot stuff. I've had an Instapot forever and I haven't really used it because again, most of you that follow the channel, I'm doing other stuff, um, smoking, uh, grilling stuff like that but anyhow so here's my unboxing of the ninja foodie grill I just kind of want to I thought it'd be kind of a cool video to do obviously like anything here's your instruction manual um, I'm not really too concerned about that it looks like a recipe book I guess we can get into that Those manuals usually drive me nuts because uh, what do you do with them Okay, so anyhow, what do we got? Let's get started grilling. It tells us about what's all involved with it. Gives a grilling 101. Um, basically a quick guide sheet. Goes through chicken breast, New York strip, hot dogs, even corn on the cob. That'll be interesting. Asparagus. So I'm interested in things give you function. Grill, air crisp, roast, bake, and dehydrate it. Probably can't see that too good, but gives you this little tip and trick thing. So, there you go. Oh, well, that might be kind of neat. Inside, you have a little cookbook, which is neat. Like us on Facebook, of course, meaning the grill. Um, this one is an AG300 series. So, owner's manual. And what else do we got here? Uh, basically tells you what to use. Recommended oils, canola, refined coconut, avocado, vegetable, grape seed, oil, seed not recommended, olive oil, butter, or margin. Interesting with olive oil, but vegetable oil and canola are easy to come by. Keep this platter shield clean. Kind of tells you the temps of how to cook them. Even can supposedly make pizza in this thing. So there's that. Shows a roasting rack. Um, other things you can buy. A roasting rack, a griddle, a veggie tray, and a bigger cookbook. So I'll show you that too. Hopefully you can see that. And what is this? Do not place plants on hot surfaces near a hot gas or electric burner. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Duh. A lot of people do that with their air fryers. Put it on there. Um, 
I'm just gonna get rid of that air fryers and stick it on a hot stove and of course they burn it. But anyhow, what do we got? Uh, obviously the grill brush, which is for most of us use the gas grills or charcoal grills. And that's really kind of interesting. Plastic, harsh, hard plastic grill brush. More plastic. Yeah, open up my garbage, get rid of that. Oh, in the box. Uh, styrofoam, styrofoam. So I'm assuming this is Oops. Get rid of that. Let's stick that aside. Yeah, that's our grill plate. So let's unwrap that. So that's our grill plate. I guess you'll get marks there. It looks like it's non-stick coating of some sort. Set that aside. I'm not going to save the plastic, so in the box, of course, is the main part of the grill, more plastic. And a little foam for protection. And let's throw that over here for now. And there's our, our little grill. So, There's nothing else in the box, that's why I did that trick. And a little styrofoam on back here, but what I like so far is when I see them in the store, it's really small footprint. I'm looking over back there on my air fryer. My air fryer is really not that much bigger. So we got some packing tape, obviously. I'm gonna get rid of that. Try to give you a view of opening this guy up. So this counter is, I'm guessing, roughly uh, probably three foot by maybe four, roughly. So you kind of give it a good deal. It's pretty small footprint, maybe a foot two by two foot here. And of course, we have more foam here. Let me get rid of that. And inside, what do we got? Just cardboard, more cardboard. And what I'm gonna call is our basically our pan, cardboard to set all that apart, of course. And in there it looks like a regular air fryer. see that so that in theory should well obviously go into this component and there's a little notch there so that guy would go in like so and then our basket like so I'm thinking so relatively actually there's a groove here so relatively easy to come in and out. Actually, I wonder. No, that wouldn't make sense. So it's got to go inside here, just kind of like an air fryer. Catches your grease. There's a groove in the back. And I'm assuming all we have to do is put that down and get it going. And now, if we wanted to do a grill, take that piece out. And again, there's a little groove and put that and put it down and do our um, whatever we're gonna grill. So I will do a demonstration on this thing when we get it going. Um, it's gonna be a little bit interesting because my plugin's over there. But what I'll probably do is I'll still set it on the counter and I'll give you a kind of visual with the camera over there, see how this thing truly works. But I hope you kind of like the idea of the unboxing video. You can kind of see how big it is how it works, 
There's a decal on here telling me how it works, how to use it, and take a few minutes and go through instructions myself. But until I see you all later, we'll probably do some videos on this little guy and see what he really does. And